Welcome to Revival Time Hub. The fire shall ever be burning upon the altar. It shall never go out. Oh, you must know yourself. Psalm 49 and verse 20. Write this scripture down and never forget it for the rest of your life. Psalm 49 and verse 20. You must know yourself. Psalm 49 and verse 20. Here's what the Bible says. Man that is in honor and understandeth not is like the beast that perisheth. It's important to know God because in the revelation of God is the revelation of yourself. You may know yourself in terms of your background. You may know yourself in terms of your tribe. You may know yourself in terms of your earthly family. But it is important that you understand your spiritual identity. And I want to show you from the word of God two things that the Bible says about you. Number one, John chapter 1 from verse 6 and 7. Please give it to us quickly. John chapter 1 from verse 6 and 7. You must know who you are. There was a man sent from God whose name was Joshua Selman. There was a man. Look at the origin. Someone prophesied, say, sent from God. Say it about yourself, sent from God. I know that you may call yourself a Yoruba person, an Igbo person, a Hausa person, an European, a, you know, a, 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 an African. All of those things are just the physical geography. But the Bible traces your origin. He never said there was a man who came from his mother or came from his father. The Bible did not even say there was a man who came from God. You did not come, you were sent. That means God is not scratching his head wondering what you will do with your life. There was a space allocated for you. Sent from God. Sent from God. When you arrived the earth, they gave you all kinds of names. They called you Joseph. They called you Abiodu. They called you whatever they, is your name. But let me tell you the truth. You must understand that you came from God. And the Bible says, he that cometh from above is above all. Listen, this is a mentality that changed my life. That means there is an advantage I have beyond my background. There is an advantage I have beyond the geographic reference you may associate me with. We live in a world today where one of the biggest problems of young people is identity crisis. The inability to have a scripture based understanding of who you are. Unfortunately, we live in a world today that prides in suggesting all kinds of things. If you do not know who you are, the world has a plethora of templates that they will make you pick anyone from. There are people who have become weak because the world told them they were weak. There are people who have become mediocre because the world told them that. Remember when the spies, the 12 spies returned back. Some of them brought an evil report and they said we were in our own eyes like grasshoppers. He never said we were in the eyes of Satan. He never said we were in the eyes of God like grasshopper. Based on our own perception, this is our conclusion that we were like grasshoppers. And Caleb stilled them and said, let us go up at once for we are able. That's why I raised that song. It's not just a song that you should sing just casually. It's a revelation. You must know who you are. You must know who you are. The world that we live in will bully you. Look up please. 
the world that we live in will bully you many of us you go to high institutions of learning and you will see all these people carry you know different forms of living and they can bully and intimidate you many times they make you feel stupid for being responsible many times they make you feel out of place for being godly and on fire they try to downplay your 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 fire for god they try to downplay your spirituality and they make it look like you have to choose whether to be spiritual or to be technological no many of you looking at me now have given up your spirituality because you want to give a context that you are modern or contemporary no sir i remind you this life that you have is a life of god in you this life that you have is a life of god this grace that you have is the grace of God in you. This grace that you have is the grace of God. Listen, this light that you have is the light of God in you. This light that you have is the light of God when you are full of yourself listen or when you are full of the light of god i should say it produces a healthy confidence not pride not pride but you know who you are when someone comes to look at you and say young lady the way you are looking you are looking as if you are not in our world and our generation you can appreciate them for their perspective sincerely but then stand true and stand confident over what you know God has made you. You see that? Our generation is bankrupt of conviction. We can become anything depending on who is talking. No. There are many of you, God is raising you to be the next apostles and prophets and evangelists, but right now you are about to give, it, give up that noble call because of some ill-informed respectfully speaking arrogant people who are in ignorance who want to downplay your passion and your fire for god some of you will be the next politicians some of you will be the next heads of government and while you are walking in the path of discipline and responsibility that leads to this kind of enviable destiny there are ignorant people who cannot do much in your life but will downplay your passion and commitment i remind you this life that you have is the life of God in you. This life that you have is the life of God. Listen, the next time anybody wants to bully you out of your conviction, out of your identity, you don't need to fight. Don't waste your time trying to defend yourself. The Bible says, haven't done all to stand. Stand. You don't have to fight and quarrel and insult people. No, 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 no. If someone looks at you and feels you are stupid, no problem. Did they not think Joseph was a fool? But later on, when he became prime minister. There are some of you, those who are laughing at you now. One day they will open the door of an office to seek for help. And guess who will be seated there? And the same tongues you were praying while they laughed, you will still be praying it in the office. The same Bible they laughed at you for holding will still be on your desk there while you are CEO. I won't go back, can go back to the way it used to be before your presence came and changed me i won't go back can't go back to the way it used to be before your presence came and changed me 
please hear me by this admonition God is already speaking to someone you have already come too far the world is making you look like you are wrong receive the grace to continue receive the grace to continue many may be making you look like a fool for being a prayerful person receive the grace to continue many may make you look like a fool for being a disciplined young man or disciplined young woman receive the grace to continue many may make you look like a fool for loving the word of god and being a student of scripture receive the grace to continue many may make you look like a fool for turning down supposedly nice opportunities to honor your convictions i assure you at the end of it god will compensate you hear me there are some of you right now you are about to lose your identity simply because of friends apostle i'm tired of being alone can i tell you there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother it is better to walk alone and be in the right direction than to walk with a crowd heading nowhere did you hear what i said it is better to walk alone and be headed the direction of destiny than to walk with a crowd that is bankrupt of vision and going nowhere please sit down as we wrap up number one the first level of knowledge you must know god number two you must know yourself you must have a spiritual orientation about who you are now that you are in christ i'm walking in power i'm walking in miracles i live a life of favor I know who I am. Welcome to Revival Time Hub. The fire shall ever be burning upon the altar. It shall never go out.